all this is dr mobin sayed from drbean.com welcome to one more show so i was actually preparing for the inflammation second lecture this evening however i received a lots of messages about the monkey pox so let's start a discussion about the monkey pox and what is going on the context is that in uk spain portugal us and somebody who traveled from us to canada they also are diagnosed now with monkey pox monkey pox is a disease which became a little more common after smallpox was eradicated in last centuries last quarter i believe in 1970s monkeypox and smallpox are actually very similar to each other however monkeypox is milder in its nature compared to smallpox smallpox is very very contagious smallpox was much more dangerous and lethal as well compared to monkeypox there is a variant of monkeypox virus that has 10% lethality that's a very high lethality for the cases even sars-cov-2 did not have that kind of lethality remember out of all the cases there is uh, 1 to 3% however the current variant of the monkeypox that is reported to be 1% lethal and i hope that it's not going to be a bigger problem and we would not even have that 1% that is my hope and pray that's not a medical information that is just me being a human being the the disease itself the problem are two that are interesting from my point of view number one why now all of a sudden and there are many people who are trying to answer there is us um, authorities trying to answer that uk authorities trying to answer that and i think many immunologists and infectious disease doctors are talking about it however for me there is a parallel with the children's hepatitis which emerged out of nowhere because one thought is that children were more protected their immune system had become more naive and so when they were challenged with something new they were not able to handle it and we i had that discussion as well that sars cov 2 may have something to do with that by triggering the immune system's status possibly monkey pox is also a similar situation where adults have gotten a more naive immune system or an immune system which is less exposed to the monkey pox and all of a sudden that is happening that's one and maybe it is wrong we'll see more more concerning for me is we are not able to yet tell where did it come from the reason for that is that monkey pox is actually a disease that is more common in africa west africa it is a disease it's a virus that lives mostly in rodents and those humans who come in contact with the rodent it jumps to them and then it can transmit from human to human although that transmission is not very efficient so it's not that it just spreads like let's say sars cov 2 however in these cases that the ones that we are experiencing in uk us spain portugal at least so far they have not been able to connect the dots to say who brought it or who had it and that made kind of an it made sense to say okay this person was in this african country they could have gotten it from there then they came over and that is how we are getting it this also creates one more concern and that is if there are some people who got it and imagine somebody had brought it over from let's say africa they did not know it they gave it to other people those people did not know it then how many more right now are incubating it is this going to become a bigger cluster so as much as i'm seeing everyone saying not a big problem it's it won't spread that fast there are not much concerns i am reminded of a similar set of messages in the beginning of 2020 for sars cov 2 as well where even who had not declared it a pandemic and they had i read the news here with us all where who was saying that not a big deal the travel should continue and we don't have much concerns i'm paraphrasing their messaging 
and then we had the SARS-CoV-2. So there is a lot of messaging that this is not SARS-CoV-2, this is not a new pandemic, it does not uh, move or transmit that fast or efficiently, so we don't have a new pandemic at our hand. However, there still is this unknown that how is it spreading to so many countries so fast? Why now? Now, continuing with the summary, that then I want to actually read some articles and reports to you as well. Monkeypox normally starts with fever and headache. With that, afterwards, the person can feel really miserable, they can feel exhausted, lethargic, muscles would, uh, they'll be fatigued, tired, back aches would occur, lymph nodes can swell up. And then the next stage, there will be skin lesions, there will be redness of the skin which would start becoming raised and it would have the vesicle or a bubble-like thing and it would be with the pussy thing and it would break and then the scab would appear, then the scab would fall off. So it would start from the face and then it would go towards the body. Usually a person can recover within a couple of weeks. There is no medicine for this, it's a viral disease. However, curious for us all, September 2019, September 2019, very close to the beginning of the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic, do you know that FDA had approved a vaccine for monkeypox and uh, for chickenpox as well? And they actually have, as far as I understand, a large supply of that vaccine at their hand. So I'll read that to you. So instead of just listening it from me. That is interesting. Now, there is another unusual thing in this whole uh, new situation. And that is, and again, I'll read you all of those. I'm giving you a summary. And that is that UK's authorities are saying that they are seeing this transmission more in gay and bisexual men. Which means they are implying that this is transmitting through the sexual contact as well, which may have, in which the partners may have lesions. Now, we know that monkeypox can actually be, the virus can be in the, in the material that is coming out of the lesions, normal lesions, let's say somebody has monkeypox scab or the pustule or vesicle, it is present in there. So from fluids, it can enter the other person. Now, for the other person, for the monkeypox to infect them, they need to have some way for the monkeypox to access their deeper tissues or blood vessels. So they have to have a crack in their skin as well. It, is res it can spread through respiratory pathway as well and fomites as, as well and from the bed sheets and linens and the curtains or other places where monkeypox or where the discharge from the skin lesions may be present. Body fluids contain it too. But this was not known before that gay and bisexual men would have it. So that is a new curious thing in this. So with this background... I wanted to go over some of the interesting takes or the reports. So this is not the scientific data now. It is reports and the vaccine. So let's start. So this is drbean.com. In the description, there is a link to drbean.com. I'm going to um, move my mic near the speaker so we can hear it. This is Bill Gates. In this is November 2021. If you see here, this is independent. It says Bill Gates warns of smallpox terror attacks as he seeks research funds. So hear him out. It is actually curious for me. So I'm gonna put the mic near my speakers. I'm going to try to make sure that the speakers are on the same side. So let's start. Hoping in five years I can write a book called, you know, we are ready for the next pandemic, but it'll take tens of billions in R&D uh, that the U.S. and the U.K. will be part of that. It'll take probably about a billion a year for a pandemic task force at the WHO level, which is doing the surveillance and actually doing what I call germ games, where you practice to say, okay, what if 
uh, a bioterrorist brought smallpox to 10 airports, you know, how would the world respond to that? Uh, you know, that there's now to really caused epidemics and bioterrorism caused epidemics that could even be way worse than what we experience today. And yet the advances in medical science should give us tools that, you know, we, we could do dramatically better. So that is, so that is Bill Gates talking about the smallpox bioterrorism. Now I'm going to go over some further reports. But I think this is important to understand the skin lesion. So I'm going to first go to this, to the Wikipedia. And this is skin conditions. Again, if you don't like Wikipedia, you can read it from the books that you like. Here is a few things that I want to discuss with us quickly. The stages of monkeypox skin lesions go from macule to papule, vesicle, pustule, and scab. What are these things? Macule is skin discoloration without much raised in it. So if I can open this up, this is a macule. So there is a problem under the skin, but the skin is not yet raised. It is just discolored. Then is the papule. So papule has some amount of skin being raised, but it does not look like blister yet. It is more of a, the whole skin is raised upwards. You cannot actually see any lesion on the skin. You can just see a bumped up area, a raised part of the skin, a small nodule. Then is vesicle. Vesicle is where an actual blister can be seen. The skin becomes thin over the lesion and it becomes bubbly and you can see that. So vesicle is somewhere um, here. So if you see here now, under the skin, there is damage and there is infection and there is immune system cells and there is reaction happening and the cells are dying and the pathogen is dying and the skin is dying. And so now you can see a blister that is a vesicle. Then a pustule appears. A pustule is where Here. So this is a pustule, again, courtesy of Wikipedia. This is a pustule where there is a raised uh, structure, skin lesion, with necrotic tissue in it. That is the dead tissue in it. The pus is actually part of the dead tissue. So that becomes a pustule. After the pustule, then there will be scab. That is the um, covering of on, on a wound, and then that scab will fall over as well. That is the progression of the skin lesion. Now I'm going to go back here. They have made that here as well. A discoloration, then raise. Let me see if I can make it bigger here. Discoloration, then it starts raising up or rising up. Then it starts showing the pus and material in it. Then it would break down, and then the scab will develop and fall off. Now... <clears throat> Two more cases of monkeypox identified by UK HSA. The latest cases bring the total number of monkeypox cases confirmed in England 6, 6 May to 9. With recent cases predominantly in gay, bisexual or men who have sex with men. So the reason I think that they are talking about this, of course it, it is found in these men and probably the transmission route Maybe because of the uh, anal intercourse involving uh, the lesions present. Sometimes during the anal intercourse, microscopic lesions can be developed. So maybe that is the route of transmission. But the problem is this route was not observed before. The two latest cases have no travel links to country where the monkeypox is endemic. Now that is a serious thing. If they don't have any link to others who may be coming from Africa, then that means they got it from within the community. And if they got it within the community, then how many more people are getting it within the community? And where is this infection going? Where is it spreading? That is a concern. The virus spreads through close contact and UK HSA is advising individuals, particularly those who are gay, bisexual or MSM, to be alert to any unusual rashes or lesions on any part of their body. So unusual rashes will mean that they may be developing monkeypox. 
just like we saw the skin discolorations redness on the skin without any any part of it rising up then slowly rising up becoming pustules and so on or lesions for example they observe that there is a small wound that just appeared it may have been a pustule that has broken especially their genitalia and to contact a sexual health service if they can have concerns look at this monkeypox has not previously been described as a sexually transmitted infection now this is true if you look at the cdc this is true that monkeypox can be transmitted through so if i went over this yesterday as well transmission of monkeypox virus occurs when a person comes in contact with the virus from an animal human or materials contaminated with the virus the virus enters the body through broken skin this is important so normally healthy skin unbroken skin will not have a problem with the virus the virus will just deposit on top of it and then hopefully will wash it and it'll go away but if the skin is broken even if these are microscopic small lesions through those lesion the virus can enter the blood stream or the deeper tissue and from there it can start spreading in the body even if not visible the broken skin respiratory tract respiratory tract and this is another concern that has monkeypox just became respiratory it does transmit through respiratory but in such large chunks these are large chunks because this was not a disease present in the society and then in so many countries all of a sudden respiratory tract or mucous membranes so mucous membranes are just like sars cov 2 mouth the wet surfaces of the mouth nose ears i would add the mucous membranes of genitalia as well these are also epithelial wet surfaces so vaginal surfaces are mucous membranes the outer um, the anal canal and the surfaces there are also epithelial wet surfaces so it's not just these but these three mouth nose and ear are mostly exposed all the time animal to human transmission may occur by bite or scratch bush meat preparation direct contact with body fluids or lesion material lesion material is very important so if a person is sick and they have those pustules on their body and they they are wet they are they are weeping they have pus coming out of them and if somebody else comes in contact with them they can develop monkey pox too but once again the important thing is that they have to have a broken skin somewhere from where the virus can enter the deeper tissue human to human transmission is thought to occur primarily through large respiratory droplets that is scary respiratory droplets generally cannot travel more than a few we know this part i think we've been talking about the respiration and respiratory droplets and aerosols and not aerosols and 6 feet or 10 feet or 3 feet or so this is just i think you are already on top of this other human to human methods of transmission include direct contact with body fluids or lesion material and indirect contact with lesion material such as through contaminated clothing or linens now the reservoir main disease carrier of monkey pox is still unknown african rodents are suspected virus that causes monkey pox has been recovered in some animals so this is cdc now going back here the two new cases do not have known connection with previous confirmed cases Th- these are scary things this not that oh well that's interesting the scary part is that if they these two did not have contact with the previously infected then how did they get it they didn't travel to africa they did not come in contact with anyone from africa who was recently coming in from africa i shouldn't say from africa but traveling from africa they did not come in contact with others who had the infection then how did they get and if they still got it that means there is community transmission occurring so the virus does not usually spread easily between people the risk to uk population remain, remains low so i understand this it this transmission is lesser than sars cov 2 but remember chicken pox itself was very highly infectious and transmissible number 1 number 2 we have seen this kind of messaging before as well so i think my trust level is lower to say okay fine 
let's go back to normal it's all good it doesn't transmit that fast we've seen what happened last time monkeypox is a viral infection usually associated with travel to i talked about this it is usually mild self limiting illness spread by very close contact now here is the dr susan hopkins that is chief medical advisor the these latest cases together with reports of cases in countries across europe confirm our initial concerns that there could be spread of monkeypox within our communities we are particularly urging men who are gay and bisexual to be aware of any unusual rashes or lesions and to contact sexual health services without delay if they have concerns then they say clinicians should be alert to individuals presenting with rashes without a clear alternative diagnosis and should contact specialist services for advice so i would actually say that not only just the rashes if somebody presents with headache fever lethargic which are sars cov 2 as well the only thing is monkey pox would not cause runny nose and congested throat and cough and those things but headache fever lethargic back aches swollen lymph nodes and then additionally skin rashes and that is a very important situation so symptoms i just went over that and rash changes i went over those as well so this is uk then if i go to fda this is also interesting just like we saw that bill gates is saying that hey chicken pox may be next here we have fda this is september 24 2019 just a couple of months before the december 2019 is when china declared that we had this i'm sure that it was out before FDA approves by it I meant SARS CoV-2 FDA approves first live non replicating vaccine to prevent smallpox and monkeypox so i know your first concern is going to be i don't want this kind of a vaccine which have live virus so again you want to have a vaccine or you don't want to have a vaccine that is your discussion that is your decision that is your choice with your doctor important thing here to note is that the virus that they use for this vaccine is neither monkeypox virus nor chickenpox virus instead it's a different third virus which has similar structure to these two guys but that virus does not know how to replicate in human beings so it is kind of inert in us it doesn't cause disease in us but it does present the monkeypox and chickenpox structures to our immune system to help with the immunity now the next question i think maybe in your head and that is how did they test it you can't give somebody intentionally monkey pox or chicken pox so they they offered it to human beings they saw their antibody levels then they compared those antibody levels with the animals who were given this vaccine that is the technology part of it i know that when i discuss these things like this people think that i'm pro vaccine right now and i want you to go take this vaccine this is technology i'm talking about that i am curious for how come september 24 2019 fda approved it that's that's curious for me okay so look at this the usf food and drug administration announced today they approved the approval of gyneos smallpox and monkeypox vaccine live non replicating and again this is a third virus it's neither monkeypox nor smallpox for the prevention of smallpox and monkeypox disease in adults 18 years of age and older determined to be at high risk for smallpox or monkeypox that's one then routine vaccination of the american public was stopped this is chickenpox in 1972 after the disease was eradicated chickenpox however once the chickenpox was eradicated in the world monkeypox got a chance to to come up and start becoming more more available because the main competitor chickenpox had gone genios will be available 
for those determined to be at high risk of either smallpox or monkeypox infection. This vaccine is also part of strategic national stockpile, the nation's largest supply of potentially life-saving pharmaceuticals and medical supplies for use in public health emergency that is severe, severe enough to cause local supplies to be depleted. My question to you is this. Is this all just coincidence? And it may be just coincidence that they are doing this. But it is, on one hand, it's reassuring that, all right, we have a vaccine available. On the other hand, this is strange for me, for lack of a better word, that here is the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic ending up, winding up, and now we have hepatitis happening in children. We have this one. What other things might start happening? If it is, let's take a very naive, innocent path and say this is happening because we have been in, in lockdowns for two years, our immune systems have become naive, and now there are newer, existing infective agents are now acting as newer, more intense agents for us. If that is the case, how many more kind of infections are going to spread and have outbreaks? That is what worries me. Smallpox, which is caused by the variola virus, emerged in human population thousands of years ago and is a highly contagious and of often fatal infection. And wherever I said chickenpox, please replace that with the smallpox. A person infected with smallpox typically develops a rash characterized by ra the raised pox on the face and body. So we know this one. Monkeypox, which does not occur naturally in the U.S., is a rare disease caused by the infection with monkeypox virus, which causes symptoms. So we saw that. And then they talk about how this vaccine was tested. The study included approximately 400 healthy adults, 18 through 42 years of age, who had never been vaccinated for smallpox, in which half of the study participants received two doses of giant neos. I remember, I think we were given smallpox vaccines when we were younger. I don't know if I think I remember that. Um, then here, this is the vaccine and how they did that. So that is the um, FDA's approval. For me, they both are in, they may be just total coincidence that on September 2019, they say, all right, we're approving this. And Bill Gates is talking about here we are and there could be bioterrorism. And we have a new an existing infection spreading in a new way to a newer cohort of people and we do not know how is it transmitting and how did it just pop up and our only answer is well maybe our immune systems are naive and that's why it's happening so i want to also go to the treatment so one you know that there is a vaccine at least in the us that doesn't mean everyone will get the vaccine. I hope they, they're not going to come out and say, we are mandating the vaccine. That's just, that's just going to be terrible. Uh, but the one, there is a vaccine. Secondly, there is actually no treatment. It's a viral uh, infection, and we just have to support the people through the infection. Currently, there is no proven safe treatment for monkeypox virus infection. For pur purposes of controlling a monkeypox outbreak in the U.S., smallpox vaccine antivirals, and vaccine immunoglobulin, or IVIGs, or VIGs, can be used. So I think we are all very much aware of these kind of treatments. Then this is the way the body looks when the um, problem occurs. Normally it resolves. So if I go here, um, progress, I think the NPR maybe. NPR has a good article about this as well. I just wanted to quickly talk about the resolution. Normally within a couple of weeks, during that time, the person is feverish, have headaches, have these lesions, exhausted, back aches, lymph nodes swollen, and then they can slowly recover. And finally this. So, <clears throat> This is where we are with this new uh, issue. Why is it out there? How did it start coming together? I am baffled. 
and there are as many doctors are out there we have as many opinions everyone is opining so dp says i love that you're watching the comments thank you very much <laughs> a google user says glad this guy is not my doctor i'm glad you're not my patient uh divan says baffled is right correct dp says dr bean knows his uh stuff let's see if there is any question if you have a question i'll just look at three four more minutes to the question just put the words the letters q q q or question mark so i can catch them so white wolf this is a very interesting question what age are the current monkeypox victims they haven't given that yet so i have this curiosity as well that what is the progression of the disease what is the prognosis are they becoming recovering within a few days and going back home and are normal and so that and of course when they say that it is more common cases are in males who may be uh, gays or bisexual or msm then of course the age is going to be such an age where the sexual activity can occur broken forever says death rate has been 0.01 to 003 or something no yeah so uh, no so actually if you're talking about the sars cov 2 out of 100 cases 19% to 20 23% end up in the hospital out of those out of those 100 19 ended up in hospital then 5 to 6 end up in the icu and then 1 to 3 die but various ages have various factors the younger ages have almost no one dying and the advanced ages have more people dying clear robinson says i'm not worried this was discussed last night on tv when vincent said this nothing to worry about i trust him thank you very much that is totally fine okay so um question c comments above to you which health authority was monitoring it is the question was it fda let's see sorry i can't see it youtube sucks <laughs> youtube sucks is absolutely not a coincidence agree says nothing is agreed but look at this time the there is no reasoning for this transmission so until they come back and yes september 20 if i say that this is somehow related then i have to figure out why is it related but the timings are very interesting and the discussion of the same things that are now appearing in the society is interesting so lopi says does this come from bestiality don't know so originally the rodent when you are handling them and if they bite you or they scratch you or they themselves have it in some of their lesions then that can happen and then human to human transmission is possible jade says how long were the clinical trials for the monkeypox vaccine approval in 2019 is that data available so if i go back to that data for a second because they were not waiting for the disease to occur it was really give the vaccine and test for the antibody production and that was it and that could have been within a couple of months so if see here the study included approximately 400 healthy adults 18 through 42 years of age who had never been vaccinated for smallpox in which half of the study participants received two doses of gyneos administered 28 days apart 
and half received one dose of ACAM2000. The group vaccinated with Dineos had an immune response that was not inferior to immune response to ACAM2000. Vaccine effectiveness for the prevention of smallpox was also inferred from supportive animal studies. So I would suspect a few months. So uh, all known cases are in Western countries so far. Is it too early to say that's odd? I think it is odd, and that is what the countries are saying too. Plus, is it possible that other countries have it too, but they're not reporting it? <laughs> Fine, Liberty says, thank you, Dr. Bean. Take care, everybody, and no more monkey jumping <laughs> So this is a question I do not have the answer to. Anna says, have they taken COVID vaccine? I do not know. Uh, this Seculus says, <laughs> C19 vax causes immune system be, to be compromised, now open to anything. No, that's not correct. Um, some information has claimed Central African monkeypox can have a mortality of 10%. So yes, there are variants, and I discussed that in the beginning. There is a variant that is 10% lethal, lethal and or lethal to 10%, and there is a variant that is lethal to 1%, and that is the variant, 1% variant is being observed. So Tina says, any information of the person in Massachusetts? Not yet. And that is the thing that there is a lot of curiosity as well for what's happening with the patients. So Penn... Prancer says, can our pets get monkeypox? So pets getting monkeypox from humans is not yet known. Maybe if they also have, let's say the human has a uh, uh, monkeypox virus in their excretions or lesions or, or contaminate the areas, and then the pet has some wound, maybe it can do that. But pet to human, oh, sorry, animal to human is known, human to human is known. That's a very interesting comment, A.D. Remember the truck accident in Pennsylvania? It was last summer and monkeys escaped. Yes, yes, you're correct. Jean says, uh, read somewhere, nitazoxanide may be effective against monkeypox thoughts. Not necessarily because it's not just the mucous membranes, but maybe. So um, Kelsey says, who could be considered high risk and eligible for vaccines? Those who are exposed more, for example, someone working with the animals, someone who's going to go travel to West Africa, for example. So those who are coming in contact with the patients, those who are coming in contact with the animals that may have it and so on. I don't think everyone should be. Adam says, can monkeypox virus acquire the COVID spike? Not that easy, no. It's going to be a lots of modifications to acquire that. Uh, Drainex says T cell exhaustion. So I don't think that these look. If my immune system becomes exhausted, then I would have more infections from my own opportunistic pathogens than waiting for monkeypox to come in. So these exhaustions are not. This is something else. So DD says, are my two kitty cats at risk? Not necessarily. Okay, very good. So Shirley, Shirley says, IVIG, how long till we know lot numbers for S1 to show? Don't know. So we only had one or two cases here in the US. So they say this is West African Breda, says West African clade. So ideally it is that. But within that, the one that is less lethal. 
is there a good question from cold cold country so this is a good one uh, green art says i i was vaccinated against smallpox in the early 1950s using cowpox vaccine am i protected so in theory yes but the time is too long and because of that this is one of the theories here that even when we had vaccinations that far back we may not be protected and our immune system may be totally naive to uh, monkeypox um lisa says i i read cowpox can create antibodies that are effective against smallpox some were monkeypox if they are effective against smallpox then they would be effective against monkeypox too however remember monkeypox emerged because of suppression of the smallpox and that suppression occurred in the people who had the vaccine hopefully the monkeypox emerged in those who were not vaccinated so lisa says having had smallpox vaccine any help so as i said it is possible that it is too late and our immune system may not be still aware and ready with the memory cells but we'll have to see so gold country says i mask plus so majority of the things in the i mask plus are immune balancing acts and these will be useful yes if it is newer correct so this vaccine that i discussed that vaccine is equally good for smallpox and for monkeypox so does it have monkey kaluchi says does it have monkeypox have an anim- does monkeypox has an animal reservoir yes it is primarily in the animals rodents in west africa exactly which one are not known but rodents in west africa and from there they can jump to humans now do we have the animal reservoirs in the western countries that is not known so can this be spread from touching surfaces if the surface has the monkey pox virus on it and then if we touch some place where there is an opening or there is a lesion through which it can enter the body or respiratory path so jan says or jan manning says the question everyone fears to ask theoretically speaking what would be the ear marks if we are experiencing a germ bio warfare look if the sars cov 2 was the first attack then even after a lots of damage humanity has come out of it this one is not as transmissible as sars-cov-2 so i would not consider this to be part of the bioterrorism the attack could be smallpox that would be bad and that is what bill gates was talking about as well so adam that is going to be a real difficult thing for these two viruses to exchange uh, proteins and because to exchange the proteins they have to exchange the rna pieces or they have to exchange the genetic material pieces and that is not easy for them to do so uh, so what are the vidyat says what are the preventive measures and treatment so of course the preventive measures number one um, i hope they don't start saying that wear masks but respiratory hygiene physical distance uh, then hand cleaning surface cleaning and if somebody is coming in contact with the skin lesions or the uh, fluids bodily fluids then be careful with that that is a prevention and the treatment there is as i said before there is vaccine there are ivigs there are antivirals uh, there is supportive treatment but there is no specific treatment for it other than the vaccines in the us skyfrog says curious if it could be spread by surface contact such as door handles it could be as long as the fluids are fresh on that and they have not dried up and killed the virus so with this thank you very much for 
being here on this urgent talk. I will see if I can now prepare for the six o'clock. If it is less time, then please uh, give me permission to skip the six o'clock and I would see you either in chit chat or tomorrow. Uh, if you have any questions, there are some rhetorical questions. So feel free to write them in the comments, but I would not respond to them. If there are any questions that are uh, genuine curiosities, please put the letter QQQ and then put the question and I'll try to answer them. Thank you very much. And there are some links in the description if you would like to support this work. I'm not going to name them all out. You can see one of them is very good link for Dr. Bean plans. Thank you and I'll see you 